I'm taking spring cleaning so seriously this year. We're moving in a few months from Alabama all the way across the country to Alaska. Yes, Alaska. And we're moving ourselves. We're not hiring a moving company or anything. So yeah, I wanna take spring cleaning very seriously and get rid of absolutely as much as I can. I wanna start with my closet. I feel like that's the easiest thing. And especially since we're going to Alaska, I just feel like if I don't wear something in Alabama, I probably am not going to wear it in Alaska. I feel like there are some summery things that I can probably get rid of, but I just wanna be cutthroat. I don't wanna be wishy-washy, oh, I might, I might wear this, you know. I'm gonna take you into my closet and we'll start going through some things. Okay, I'm sorry, there's not really a better way to set you up, but here's my closet. Oh my gosh, here's my closet. This side behind me is my husband's, but everything right here is mine up there and everything behind the door as well. Here's a look at the before. All my sweaters up there, it's semi-color coordinated. Goes behind here, up there. I guess we should start with regular tops. I don't think I'm gonna get rid of any of my sweaters because I wear 99% of them and I'm going to Alaska so I will wear them. Okay, can you hear me? Can you see me? All right. First up, I think I'm going to get rid of this sweater vest. It just washes me out, don't you think? It's not a very good color on me. I've only worn it once or twice, so I'll probably try to sell this. I think I'm gonna make a sell and a donate pile, so. I'll probably try and sell this. I think I've worn it twice in the three years I've had it. Okay, this. This is a top that I bought actually when I studied abroad in college, so I've had it for um, eight years, <laughs> so, and I haven't really worn it in the last five or so, so I might try to sell this one too. I just think it's so cute, but I think I should try and sell it. I just haven't worn it. Unfortunately, I don't really want to bring it to Alaska with me, so. I'm going through the easy things right now because there are a few things that I've had my eye on to get rid of. This is another one. It's a cute black lacy tank, but I just never, ever reach for this. So again, something that I'll try to sell. I can tell you right off the bat, this is a random shirt that I got from Walmart because I was gonna wear it as part of a costume. Turns out it has like zero stretch. Anyway, it literally is so tight on me, so I'm just gonna try and like donate this probably. I think I could probably donate this. I got it because it's nice and lightweight, I like to wear it to yoga. Well, that's a good point. I like to wear this to yoga as just a quick layer over my sports bra. But I also have this, which I like more. And it's also, it's like really thin knit, it's see-through. I might keep this, donate this. By the way, this might not seem like a lot, but I did go through my clothes maybe six months ago and I have a big bag going to Goodwill. So this is kind of just like the cherry on top, spring cleaning, get out anything that I didn't grab last time sort of thing. But I do have a huge trash bag that I have ready to go to Goodwill. If anyone's interested in anything I'm showing today, I will link my Poshmark down below. A lot of this stuff is small and medium. So if anyone's interested, I'll link my Poshmark below. I'm keeping all of my pants up there. I've recently gone through my pants, so I don't even think there's anything that I could get rid of right now. Now we're gonna tackle my jackets and bottoms and dresses. All of my jackets are keeps, especially since we're going to Alaska. There are a couple in here that I haven't worn as often as the others, but I'm confident that I'll at least get somewhere out of all of these jackets, so not even gonna bother looking at those. There are some bottoms that I want to try on because I don't think they fit me anymore. Like my basic denim shorts. These are so cute, just basic denim, but I think they're too small for me. So you try these on. Oh, I love these pants. These are some like linen dress pants. I just need to see if these fit. I do want to keep them. I want to keep some work clothes because I don't know what my career is going to look like and I, I like to just stow away 
some work items even if I have to move them and I never wear them. Lastly are a couple of dresses. I love them both but I'm absolutely not going to wear them in Alaska. This one I wore to my bridal shower. It's, I don't know if you can tell, it's too overexposed. Oh, there you go. It's a very blush baby pink midi dress. It's tiered. And then this one has these cute ruffles. It's so cute, but I haven't worn it in five years. So lastly, I'm just going to get rid of these two pairs of shoes. I haven't worn them in years and years and they're both really gross. So these got to go. Now that I've cleared out some things in my closet, like I said, I know that was quick and I pulled things out that I knew I was going to probably get rid of. But like I said, I did clean out my closet about six months ago and I do have a big bag waiting in the other room ready to go to Goodwill. So this is just a kind of spring clean, grab out those last few items, you know. But now it's time to go with thrifting. And like I said, I'm only going to buy things if I absolutely love it, if I think I will wear it or use it or whatever it is. I'm actually going thrifting tomorrow, so... Let's cut to that clip of me thrifting. Please, thrift gods, let me find something good. Please. Please. I was just in the thrift store and post. I've been wanting to go in there for forever, but they have weird hours and I usually work. But I just changed my work schedule, so I'm now free on Friday afternoons. So I headed in and I just spent $20. I'm excited to show you. Obviously, I'll show you everything when I get home. But now I'm going to run over to Goodwill in the city and see what we can find there. But yeah, I wasn't too, I don't know. I wasn't too excited about any of the clothing options in this post thrift store, but some good homewares I definitely did get. So I will show you when I get home, but let's go to Goodwill. Also, I didn't film in there because there were so many signs that were like, absolutely no videos, no pictures. So I got really scared even bringing my phone out to like look up a brand of clothing. So yeah, no video. I'm back from the stores and here's everything I got. First up, we'll go through everything that I got at the on poster store. So first up is this tablecloth. I really love the colors and the print. I've been wanting to make my own napkins for quite a while and I've kind of just been waiting to run into the right fabric. And I saw this and I thought I could make 500 table napkins out of this. So. I'm just gonna use this fabric and test my hand at cutting and sewing my own napkins for our house. So that's the plan with this. This was $5. I think this is 100% cotton too, so that's very good. I also got this mat. Let's see, does it go this way? I thought I could use this in the bathroom or in front of our kitchen sink or under our dog's food bowl. Who knows, but yeah, basically it's just a like bath mat type thing, but $4, so good price. And lastly, from this store, I got this 100% genuine leather small crossbody bag. So it's from Nine West originally. It's in pretty good condition, 100% leather. I got it for 13 bucks. I have a black bag that I use pretty much every day, but I don't have a small one. So I know I'll wear this all the time. I'm obsessed. Okay, now for everything from the actual Goodwill in town. So, a couple of these you might look at me and be like, okay, cool. So first up is this t-shirt. It says God bless America on it with an <laughs> American flag. This reminded me of the Old Navy t-shirt with the American flag on it that everyone wore in the early 2000s. If you were in elementary school in the early 2000s, like 2000 to 2005, you know which Old Navy t-shirt I'm talking about. So this reminded me of that and honestly I bought it because I'm always looking for new t-shirts to wear to the gym. My gym has a very strict dress code so you basically just have to cover up head to toe. So whenever I find a t-shirt that would be good for the gym, I snatch it up. I think this was a dollar. So anyway, it reminded me of that Goodwill t-shirt and I can wear it to the gym. I can clean the house in it. I can kind of get it dirty. So that's why I bought it. Oh, and disclaimer with everything that I thrift, I only thrift things that are natural materials. So cotton, wool, linen, leather, etc. So um, 
like the fabric is 100% cotton the purse is 100% leather the t-shirt is 100% cotton and then next is this sweater which is 100% wool but I really liked this red piping detail Ugh. the woman at the checkout was like oh that looks like a sock monkey and I was like oh like I know it does but is that a good thing is that a bad thing I think it's cute and red is having a really big moment right now and I honestly have no red in my closet this would be perfect for Alaska and it's really cute I love it next up is this 100% cotton lightweight mock neck I love a good mock neck I'm not gonna lie and I don't have any sweaters that are this thin um, it's very good for layering and I don't really have anything like this right now so very basic not exciting but just yeah it's 100% cotton mock neck gray basic can wear it with everything you can tell I'm nostalgic because I had to get this turtleneck when I saw it it's a St. John's Bay vintage turtleneck I don't know if you wore these turtlenecks as a child but like I said like 2000 to 2005 this is what I was wearing these kinds of turtlenecks if you have no idea what I'm talking about this will be really hard to explain to you but if you do know what I'm talking about you know that these turtlenecks are the perfect turtleneck material they just ugh, they're so nostalgic because I used to live in turtlenecks exactly like this so I had to grab it it was like two dollars lastly I have a couple of home goods so first I got this red picture frame I don't have a ton of bold colors in my house but it's time to change that and I want to bring more fun and bold color into my house so I thought go big or go home buy the red picture frame so yes it's a basic picture frame but I think it's cute and lastly is the thing I'm, I might be most excited about is this mirror this is just you know a basic mirror but it was four dollars and I've been looking for a mirror exactly the size to go over our entryway table four dollars I had to buy this mirror it's so cute okay and that's what I got from the thrift store so $40 total, really good, honestly. And so that's what I got at the thrift store, my first thrift haul in 2024. Now that I have Fridays, Friday afternoons off, I'm gonna have to keep myself from going to the thrift store every Friday afternoon. It's gonna be hard. The thing is, I was looking for specific items like a dresser and um, nightstands and things for our new house because we're gonna have a guest room in our new house and I need furniture. I don't have any guest room furniture. So really my goal, in the next few months is to hopefully thrift some dressers and nightstands and things like that but today we got what we got but anyway thank you for following along as i clean out my closet and go thrifting a little bit I'll, i'm sure i'll go thrifting many more times before we go to alaska and even when we get to alaska so so yes thank you for following along make sure you are subscribed give this video a like leave a comment what was your favorite thing that i thrifted and i guess i will see you next time bye